This family was here at the beginning when cowboys worked the large herds, when cattle were known to wander down Polk, when the city of Amarillo was new and undeveloped. The Bivens family has always had the attitude that this area has given us a great deal and we want to give back as much as we've gotten. And so I think the family's attitude has always been to try to make the place a better place than it was when we came here. This book was uh, commissioned by my mother to create a history of, the, of Lee Bivens and the Bivens family in Amarillo called Touching Lives. Mark Bivens helps run the family business and he's describing the book from which these photographs were taken. It's a rich history of epic exploits by the Bivens family who have left their mark on this area in countless ways. Lee Bivens arrived early, scraping out a living with cattle, but his wife, Mary Elizabeth, was not with him in those years. His wife, at the time, told him that she would not move up here until he built her a proper home. And that's what he did here on Polk Street. Center City's Beth Duke works here now, as well as the Chamber of Commerce. And I would say that all of us who are privileged to work in this building, we really feel like we're stewards of history. It's really important when we come to work every day and get to work in this beautiful building. And the city does a magnificent job of maintaining it. I've worked here for almost 30 years, and my office was a bedroom. And I think I have the best view, and I think I have the best office. My favorite story is people come through, and they say, this was the library. This is where I did my paper on whatever. When I was growing up, this wonderful building here at 1000 South Pole was our city public library, the Mary E. Bivens Library, the only library in town at the time. And when Mary E. Bivens passed away, her foundation was created. It now resides in the other iconic Bivens home on Lamar. So I think the family, from generation to generation, has really had a vision about what this community could be, whether it's with the arts or healthcare related things, that there has been a sense of this is a special place to live, and as a community, when we come together, we can do great things. I have a love for the outdoors, and I'm a former Texas Parks and Wildlife Commissioner, and what I think I, I really get the most satisfaction out of is trying to preserve the land. Specifically, keeping developers off the rim of Paladuro Canyon. The Bivens family can truly be said to have grown up with this land and to have made it part of their spirit. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.